With that, let's kick it out to the ranch and hear from Ken Purcell. He knows all about coaching changes and moving around a lot. He's with Aaron Hardigan. Well, he's been a coach. You've also hired coaches as mm -hmm. an athletic director for 17 years. What did you make of this last offseason, perhaps being one of the wildest we've seen among power programs here mm -hmm. in the state as well? Oh, no doubt. The power programs really did a reshuffling, so to speak. Yeah. And what's interesting, some of them hired experienced head coaches to go into that, and some of them hired assistant head coaches. And I love the people that give the, the kid a chance. Give the guy that hadn't had a chance a chance. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of the programs, as we've talked about, were prolific programs. Uh, and what I did with coaches, uh, of course, I hired Joey Florence that did a great job. Then I hired John Walsh, who did a great job. What I recognized in both of those men is that they didn't talk about they loved coaching football. There was a difference. They said, we love coaching kids. And I really looked for that. How much, when I was interviewing a coach, did he talk about kids? Because I've preached to my coaches on all levels, it's not about you. It's really not about you. It's about those kids. It's about their senior year or their junior year. And so I think great coaches find that to be true, that they get to where it's caring about kids, nurturing kids, coaching kids, and the winning takes care of itself after that. Well, quick question for you. How old were you when you earned your first head coaching job? <laughs> I was the offensive coordinator at Plano High, and I went to the head coaching job in Allen, and I was 33 years old. And at the time, you were the youngest. Well, 